Hi everyone, I'm Zaina from Product School and in this video we're talking about product retrospectives, why they're important and how to create your own using the Product School template. Um, retrospectives are important for product teams to achieve continuous growth, be able to learn from their past failures and identify issues early on. In order to do that, PMs need to run focused and scoped retrospectives that leave team members with actionable items for the future. Um, in this template, in the second slide, you will find resources that you can tap into to help you run your retrospective. And you can always reach out to the Product School community here at the bottom um, if you have any questions. Now, in this retrospective, uh, in this retrospective template, you can find two types of templates. You'll have a sprint retrospective and then you have an incident retrospective. A sprint retro will only look at the last sprint and identify ways that it can become more efficient with actionable items for the future. However, an incident retrospective will look at a previous history of retrospectives that the retro lead will walk the team through and identify measurable items against that. In the first sprint retro, it will look something like this. In the first slide, you will identify what type of retro you are running and what the product or feature is. And then you'll give everyone uh, 10 minutes per slide. So in the first slide, um, you, will give, you will give team members around seven to eight minutes to write down their achievements and then two to three minutes for them to vote. Same thing here. You'll identify your challenges and then two to three minutes to vote. What ideas the team might have. You'll create this kind of safe space for everyone to write down their ideas and feel comfortable sharing how they want to take action. And then in the last slide, the PM will, uh, based on um, the voting and all the data gathered during the meeting, you will be able to identify key takeaways, interaction items, uh, jot down due dates and metrics you'd like to measure against. Same thing for an incident retrospective. The only difference is that in the first slide, the retro lead will walk the entire, th uh, the entire t team through um, a history of retrospectives and be able to pinpoint accountability um, and identify next steps as well. Same thing here, you'll go through the same process with all these slides and identify next steps and takeaways. And that's pretty much it. In the last slide, you have an extra video that you can watch. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to the product school community, as I said before, and feel free to tap into the product school um, free resources page and YouTube channel for more information on this topic. Hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.